One Pot Week continues. Today I've got a really great dish. It's kind of unusual. It's a rice and zucchini with fish steamed on top. It's really elegant and light and fresh. The cool thing about this dish is that the fish gets a really nice little spice rub and you can keep the spice rub on hand and rub it all over everything. Everything. Remember that. First thing that you need to do is cut up an onion and mince a clove of garlic. Coarsely chop your garlic clove. It doesn't even need to be minced. See, that's my gift to you today. Uh-oh, I left the, the sprout in. What are we gonna do? You're fired, Sarah, you're fired. See, if somebody was prepping that for me and they did that, I'd be like, what's going on here? One small onion. Oh, ow. These are evil, evil, evil onions. Back the truck up, onion. Also coarsely chopped. Of course, I just finally chop everything because that's who I am, but I just can't help it. You're just gonna have to accept me the way that I am. Watering eyes and all. You still love me when my mascara runs. <laughs> this is gonna be cooked in four teaspoons of butter, <laughs> give or take. Melt your butter in a large straight-sided skillet and cook your onion and your garlic until they're translucent. You notice how I didn't wait for my butter to melt? Naughty. I'll just stand over here till the butter melts and then I'll let it cook while I prep my zucchini because there's a vegetable cooked in with this fish and rice also, which is kind of nice. Have the zucchini lengthwise and then cut it crosswise into one inch pieces. They should be kind of big because it's gonna cook with the rice which cooks before you add the fish for about 13 minutes. Now that the onion is translucent, add the rice. It's one cup of basmati rice and you just wanna stir that around and then a tablespoon of lemon zest. I'm gonna use lemon juice also, but do the zesting first, of course. The two cups of chicken stock. You can turn your heat up now. We need a tablespoon of lemon juice, so I'm gonna take this over here and cut it up. This feels juicy, so I think I only need a half, but it's very seedy. Living life on the edge, and I'm just squeezing with my hands. Oh, and here come more seeds. I usually think that the really juicy ones have less seeds, but why would I think that? There's like no basis for that opinion. Season it. The zooks. Careful, don't splash yourself with boiling stock. Once it's in a boil, cover it, reduce it to a simmer, and cook it for 13 minutes. The rice won't be done, but you have to put the fish on there. I promised you a spice rub, right? Quarter cup ground coriander, a tablespoon of sweet paprika, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, and a tablespoon of ground ginger. Ooh, and one more thing, a tablespoon of salt. Coarse salt, make sure you use coarse, otherwise, woo, salty. Stir that up. It's a pretty spicy spice rub. You're gonna like it, I think. Add a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. And now you can sprinkle your fish. You're not putting all of this on tonight's dinner. Don't worry. This will last for about three months in an airtight container in a dark spot. I have one pound of cod fillets. You could use salmon here too, or any kind of white fish also would work. Place the fish on top of your partially cooked rice, and then you cook it for about five to seven minutes until the fish is cooked through. The residual moisture in the pan from cooking the rice will cook the fish. It's pretty cool. Cover it up, five to seven minutes. At long last, 15 whole minutes has passed and my dinner is now ready. <gasps> that looks fantastic. This is wafting too. There's some serious waftability going on. I am in love with this dish and I think that you will be too. You get a starch, a veg, and protein all in one pot and it's kind of unusual. Enjoy the fruits of barely any labor on your plate in like 20 minutes. Flat. I'm really excited about this one. I'm gonna make lots more dishes like this, so stay tuned.